this man who's beside your father O'Brien? This man, it is rumoured, might have to go to Rome to have the whole thing ratified out there. <laughs> and you'll go with me as my chauffeur. Well, well done, Gerald. They do say that there's a chance of him being canonised, but there's certainly no chance of me, I think. <laughs> well done, Gerald. Many congratulations, yes. Father Michael O'Brien, in many ways, uh, this is the player's day, but in some ways, too, it's Father O'Brien's day. No. Uh, everybody in Cork has waited for you to be up here with the McCarthy Cup winning team because you pretty much win, won everything else with them. Well, Jim, you know, it takes a team effort and um, I said a few raw things at half time to them. We, we were playing with a 10 man team up to half time. But that's something that hasn't seemed to realise we're not out of the final, but uh, I think they got, got the hang of it at half time. And. Uh, they went out there and they huddled, like I told them, I said, 35 minutes left after 12 months, hard, hard slog. And he did it. He deserved it. Get out there and win it. And the other five, we'd better make sure they're nameless for the moment, Father Brian. But no, they, they did you proud in the second they're half. Not, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't name them or anything, but they're always... If anybody expects 15 players to go out and play for 60 minutes out in the pitch or 70 minutes, they're, they're in crowd cuckoo land. They weren't bad players. They were good players, very, very good players, and they were, they were players that came into the game, and we made switches. We have an, under, an understanding, there are 26 on the panel, our shops still come on, there was no rancor, no bitterness. If you're not good enough, if you're tired or otherwise, remember last night, it was a tough night, we had six young fellas, seven young fellas on the team today. But it's one for all, not for one, and I only take a portion of that credit. One thing about them, Father O'Brien, uh, you know these fellas so, so well. Apart from the hurling, they must be a bit special to you. 23, yes, I told them I'm very, very fond of them. 23 of 26 came under my wing, in one way or another. And all you've won in the past, Father, how does it all compare with this one? Well, I'm not a man for talking about these things, but we weren't favourites, we were written off by every... Well, be careful, there'll be liable action. Nearly all the press wrote us off today. That we were only, some people called us, nearly called us donkeys or something. But that we played our, a cockman said we played our All Ireland in, in Tonless. And I told them that we could do better than that. We went out and we played better second half, I believe, than we played in Tonless. Well, many congratulations, Father Ryan, and immense credit to you. Thank you, Jim Carney, and you're a man from the West, and, you know, you can be proud of Galway. There was a dirty stroke in the game, and that's what it's all about to me. Yes, I share that view. Well said, Father. Many congratulations to you. And one of the lads you're most proud of, Tony.